Hi there, my name is Carissa with Becoming His Crown here on YouTube, and today I wanted to talk about the topic of praying without ceasing and what that means for head covering. Should we cover full time? What about those that only cover part time? And how that scripture applies to us and how we can move forward in our head covering journey in light of that bit of scripture. So 1 Thessalonians 5.17 literally says, pray without ceasing. And I think that that verse can be a little bit confusing for the head covering woman because we know based on 1 Corinthians 11 that we should cover when we pray or prophesy, but then scripture tells us to pray without ceasing. So does that mean that we need it to be covered all the time since we're told that we should pray without ceasing. I think when we approach this verse, we can approach it with some amount of practicality. I think that it is safe to say that it is impossible to spend all day praying, to literally pray constantly and do nothing but being in a state of prayer. While we should be striving to pray as often and as fervently as we can, it's a little impossible to think that we will do nothing in our day but pray. So when it comes to whether or not we should head cover constantly or all day, I think that in light of scripture, we see that in a woman's day, there will be times when she is not praying or prophesying. So in those times, is she called to cover based on this scripture? When I was doing a little bit of research on this topic, I found a writing by Charles Spurgeon that was really helpful in understanding this idea of to pray without ceasing. He does acknowledge the fact that it is impossible to be actively engaged in prayer all the time and goes on to explain what this verse means and how we can apply it. In short, he says that we should be in prayer as much as possible and in a variety of different ways. This could be actually being in prayer, kneeling, sitting, standing, doing the dishes, but actively praying. This could be something like serving others as a way to pray to God or praise God. This could be the way that we worship and sing. This could be the way that we love others or carry ourselves. The biggest thing that he pointed out in this writing was that there should be nothing in our lives that hinders us from praying. There should be no activities, no situations, no places, nothing that hinders us from being in a state of prayer as often as possible. So for the head covering woman, that really gives us something to think about. While it can be confusing to think, how can I actually pray without ceasing? It's clear that scripture says, pray without ceasing. It's also clear in 1 Corinthians 11 that we are to head cover. So in light of scripture, does this mean that we should cover full time? With what we've talked about so far and how there are going to be times when a woman is not actively praying, this all comes down to the woman, her convictions, and the Holy Spirit and his leading on her life. This is another one of those things in head covering that is going to vary from woman to woman based on how she, her husband, how they interpret scripture and the convictions that's being placed on her heart by the Holy Spirit. Now, don't get me wrong. All women are called to cover while praying and prophesying. That can't be changed. That is the way that it is. So when praying or prophesying, we should all be covered. But the question is, should a woman wear a head covering at all times? Should she only wear a head covering when praying or prophesying? And that's where we get into a little bit of liberty based on the way that the woman interprets scripture and the conviction that's placed on her heart. So some ways that this might look a little different woman to woman. For one woman, that may mean that she covers all the time. She wakes up, she puts her head covering on, goes about her day, and wears it until she goes to sleep. For another woman, this may be having a covering available at all times in case she is in active worship or in active prayer or speaking to someone about the gospel, just having a covering ready at all times in all situations. And I happen to fall in the second category. That's not to say that you should fall in the second category, but that is where I land. I have decided that I should always have a covering available but I don't necessarily cover at all times. You really have to just 
think about this, look at scripture, pray, talk to your husband and determine where you fall on this. Now, if you feel very strongly that you should be covering all the time, then it's quite possible that this is something that's been placed in your life and on your heart and that you should follow that conviction. If you aren't feeling strongly about it, then it's time to just go to scripture and see what you find there. I wanted to make this video to illustrate that there is some liberty here. This isn't going to be the same for every woman, and if it were to be the same for every woman, we would see this clearly outlined in scripture. This is not something that should feel like bondage or chains, or there shouldn't be pressure associated with this. Head covering is a very beautiful thing, and whether you choose to cover part-time, just when praying or prophesying, sign or to cover full time because you believe that that is what the scripture is saying. This is not something that should cause division or pressure or make us feel that we are wrong if we have chosen to do something than another sister in Christ. There is a great blog post that goes really well with this topic on the head covering website and it talks about the prayers of an uncovered woman. Are they heard by God? And I really encourage you to check that out in the link below. The thing to really think about is are you finding that you are in prayer often and without a head covering. If that is the case, you might think to take steps to prevent that from happening. Whatever you need to do to prepare yourself to always be ready to pray, we need to pray without ceasing. And part of that is making sure that there is nothing hindering, nothing getting in the way of us going to God in prayer. And if you are a woman that believes in head covering, that means that we need to be prepared to pray with having a head covering either on all the time or having a head covering available and being prepared for prayer. I hope that this was helpful for you. I am by no means an expert and I'm still learning through this as well. I've had my fair share of times when I just haven't been prepared. So I want you to take heart in knowing that it is a journey and that God searches the heart. We should be striving to head cover. We should be striving to follow God's word and what he has laid out for us in his word. But please do know that if you make a mistake, if you find yourself unprepared, the most important thing that you can do is to still pray. Be prepared next time. Make steps to make this happen if this is important to you and you believe what God has to say in 1 Corinthians 11 to still be relevant and true as we do. But just know that at the end of the day, if you forget your head covering, I pray that you would still pray. Sisters, let us pray without ceasing. Let us be women that are prepared for whichever route we choose full-time head covering, part-time head covering. Let us be women that pray without ceasing in all that we do and women that are prepared to do so when it comes to head covering. I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope that this video has been an encouragement to you. If it has, leave us a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic and we'll see you in the next video.